Great, good to have you here, guys. Now we are looking at how to import OMF into Protus. Now you have your project and you want to take in to your Protus uh, project your OMF files, which is the open media framework. First thing first, go to your file, okay? Go to your file and then you come down here and realize you have session data, session data, click on it. Okay, look for OMF file you want to import. In my own case, I have it here, EP3, click on it. Now, you have a few adjustments to make here. First, you have to come here, uh, click in here and say, copy from source media. Okay, this is what I prefer to use, copy from source media. And then I come in here and say, link source here, link to source media. Okay, so that's fine. And then you come down here, you can choose to say import, uh, you can choose to want to import clip gain or import render or do effects. So this, this is not necessary. If you want to work on the files yourself, like the raw files, then you come in here, you can choose to say uh, import uh, replacing existing files and blah, 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 and likes. So what next? We have to just import now haven't done this correctly, we click OK, then the files are coming in straight. Now, when this window pops up, please do not uh, say automatically, uh, which, which is what you have here, find and relink. You can just, instead of skipping, make sure you say manually find and relink. OK, click on this and say OK. Now, the reason I do not click on uh, automatically find and relink is because most times I eventually come back to manually. I uh, will link my videos and start doing one after the other. So I just go to manually relink. Okay, you, so you come in here, uh, look for the folder that has the files that you want to bring in into your project. So for example, in my own case, it's uh, way down here. So I click and look for the folder. Social, where is it? Social. Okay, fine. I have it here. So you click. Okay. Once you click on this one, let's, you open up the file, the, the folder, let's go for episode three, okay? That's what we're looking for. You click on it here, okay? Now, when you choose the file, the folder rather, that has the files, uh, the OMF files you want to put in, bring into your project, the moment you choose the folder where those files are, you, you, you're supposed to have these find links, okay? Right now, you realize it's not highlighted. So what you can do down here, just click on one of these things. You see, it comes up, all right? So click on find links. Now, usually you have match formats. You have uh, this other one here, um, uh, match format, match duration. You have them always up, okay? Now, what you are supposed to do here is to say find by name. You click on find by name. Then undo this one. Make sure you uncheck these ones. Match duration, match format, uncheck them. The moment you try to uncheck, you see this warning, uh, warning sign here telling you linking to files which are too short may result in some clips being removed from the clip list or timeline. Say okay to that, all right? And then ensure this one's also taken out. So the only thing you want to see is find by name. Say okay to it. The moment you say okay to that, Highlights all these files that are here. These are the files, OMF files you want to put into your project. So highlight everything. In my own case, I just say Control, Control A. Okay, they are all highlighted. So you come in here and say Find Links. Click on Find Links, and then say OK to this. Find by name. Say OK to it. You see, you have every of these files here with this orange sign. All of them, look at it, all of them at once, having this orange sign, all of them. So the next thing to do now is to say commit links. Come up here and say commit links. Click. It asks you commit links. I say yes. And then, trust me, you're going to have all of them, all of them straight into your projects. All of them. Okay, so you're done with this window. Every of the files will linked once and for all. You, say, you click this. Check out. <laughs> Can you see them? Look at the files. See, these are what you're looking for. Now you have them raw. You can work on them yourself from afresh. And then make sure you have a fantastic sound design project. 
All right. Thank you guys for being part of this. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have questions with regards to this very topic, do ask me. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like to encourage us to make more videos. All right. And one more thing. Uh, if there are other topics you want me to treat in terms of Pro Tools and some sound design, the likes, or maybe music making software, uh, what, what's our topic it is when it comes to uh, uh, post-production rather. So let me know about it and I'll be very glad to touch light on that very topic. Thank you for being part of this video. God bless you.